when we're going through challenges and challenges that nations do go through from time to time. Uh, it is not the fact that you go through challenges that matters. It's your capacity and your ability and uh, of, of coming over those, uh, those challenges, which I believe in, Niger in the Nigerian spirit, um, no matter the challenge will come, we'll, we'll, we'll overcome it. Uh, this is not a time for, for name calling or or blame or, or, or blaming one person or the other. Um, if truth be told, we all have equal shares in the blame in whatever challenges we have. Uh, we all must come together. The same way we all have equal shares, we must all come together uh, to make sure that we resolve whatever issues, whatever issues there are. Like I said earlier, nations, um, the, the greatest nations have gone through challenges even worse than this. Uh, and I believe that, um, I believe that um, it is um, that spirit of oneness and that spirit of togetherness and unity and love that will take us, uh, put a, could take us through this. You know, sometimes um, there are many things that people have said here and there. You, know, uh, you, you know, never know where these things are coming from. Sometimes God even takes you, puts you through challenges uh, so that you can come out of it stronger, bigger, better, and bolder. And that's what I believe is going to happen to Nigeria. We're all put together into, into this one geographical space for a reason. The president is reaching out to all the stakeholders and I believe that as uh, leaders, particularly those of us that are elected at all levels of government, we should avoid uh, partisanship, we should avoid regionalism, we are all leaders and we are in this together. The solutions must come from us regardless of what level of government we are, whether at the federal level or at the state level or even at the local government level. And I want to take this opportunity also to say that we have diminished the local government system. I think we can attribute some of the security issues to the absence of local government system, functional local government system. For me, I think the time has come for us to take up the challenge, the gauntlet, to ensure that the local government system functions. Uh, this is in keeping with looking for ways, for means, for solutions uh, to the security challenges that we face. We must never neglect the local government system. I believe that Nigeria is going to come out of these uh, challenges um, uh, stronger. Uh, the calls for cessation, the calls for restructuring, Many are genuine calls, even though I never believe that someone who is calling for secession means well or is a misguided person. But I believe that when somebody calls for improving uh, the structure that we have, it's a genuine call. But I want to advise here, I believe that as leaders, those of us who are elected must not be at the forefront of calling for this kind of thing. Because even if you are a governor, you are supposed to be working hard in your state to ensure that this restriction you are calling at the federal level, you have done it in your state as well. Because what you, you may accuse the federal government of whatever it is, you may also be accused of the same thing in your state. So we, we are supposed to ensure that we have a complete and total way of ensuring that our systems at the federal, at the states, and even local government work for the people, that we allow people to participate in governance, that whoever feels that he has something to offer to make Nigeria better, does so freely without any let or hindrance. So I, I, I believe that this is a very important time for us uh, to continue to reflect and imbibe the spirit and lessons of Ramadan. Thank you very much. Thank you.